So on the left-hand side, you see obviously these various stages and evolution of the data. On the right side, you see how that aligns with the growth and development of the web as we know it today. So if you see at the very base of this pyramid, you see the early transactions uh, back in, you know, starting in 1995, right? And having basically content that is consumed by the consumer, right? It's transaction based. And as you see over in Web 1.0 there on the right side, right, we're talking about e-commerce, basic web pages, basic HTML, e-commerce, JavaScript is in, in this time period. We obviously move very quickly with the advent of, and particularly social media, into the next stage, if you will. And that stage started as business intelligence. And when you look at the ETL, by the way, that means extract, transform, and load. When you look at that data, that warehousing, you a lot of that information was used to create reports. And once we navigated through that and had these custom reports being generated through this business intelligence and learning, we then moved into the next kind of later phase of Web.20, which got into machine learning. So what is that? Well, it's maybe things that you have at home. So any of those home devices, those home assistants that we're seeing the, that's created the proliferation, obviously, of the internet of things, any of those devices that can aid us and help us that are obviously induced uh, by the user to create a response. Quite repetitive, we know that, but obviously a step, if you will, in this great evolution of data. Web 2.0, of course, social media. This is where you and I, as users of the web, are creating content hosting content, and so forth. A lot of mobile access here and a lot of need for high-speed communications. So that's Web 2.0, as well as the evolution of data. The very last piece of this, and we can debate whether or not where we are in this first line of machine intelligence. And you talk to a number of those that are in this particular space, and you will find out some say we just tripped over that line. Some say no, we're about mid midpoint. Some say we're we're further than that. It's not an area where everyone is in alignment. And you'll find that as you get more and more up into these machine intelligence and consciousness phases, if you will, that people have a wide variety of where we stand. But for our purposes, I'm just going to put it somewhere in the middle of machine intelligence. But the important thing here is how did we get here? We're looking at uh, Web 3.0. This is now where virtual reality, augmented reality, or the metaverse kind of comes in. Blockchain technology, particularly in the financial services area, is very uh, prominent and getting more prominent by the day. Obviously, artificial intelligence comes out of this particular space as well as the interoperability and NFTs or non-fungible tokens. So, which kind of uh, work in conjunction with the blockchain development. The last, very last phase in machine consciousness. If you read about what uh, the father, the, the godfather of uh, AI says, he thinks that machine consciousness is closer than we think. While others that I have read state, you know, 2045, I've seen one state 2020, 2200. It, it really varies again where and who you kind of talk with and where we are in these various stages. But understand that when we talk about machine consciousness, what we are focusing in on here is that the machine actually begins to appear is from an intelligence standpoint to be smarter than the human being. The consciousness part is probably the big area of trying to understand what does that mean. Think of it as, if those of you are familiar with Star Trek Next Generation, this is data and his emotional chip embedded in him. And it's the emotions, right? 
that are kind of key to this consciousness. When will the machine have that consciousness and have the ability to feel emotion? That's the great myth as well as a great disparity of thought in when that's going to occur. We're not there yet. You know, we're certainly, there's, there's folks that are certainly working towards that. And as you can imagine with any of this stuff, there's always that positive side, right? In the hands of good actors. And then there's that negative side, the hands of bad actors that we have to contend with. 